the wife of the president, Mrs. Aisha Buhari, and her entourage walking into the Senate chamber. Lawmakers suspend their rules to admit her into the chamber. This is the first time a spouse of a serving president is attending plenary in the National Assembly since the return to democracy in 1999. Mrs. Buhari is here to support gender bills put forward for constitution amendment. This is a report on the constitution review and the presence of the first lady is especially to show her support for one of the bills that want to create an affirmative action for more female parliamentarians in both chambers in the Senate and the House and the state legislatures. Deputy Senate President Ovi Omagege, who chairs the Special Ad Hoc Committee on the Review of the 1999 Constitution, lays the Constitution Amendment reports. There are 68 items for amendment in the 1999 Constitution. They include amendment for financial autonomy for local governments, financial independence of state houses of assembly and state judiciary, amendment for the procedure for passing the Constitution Alteration Bill where the president withholds assent, strengthening the judiciary for timely dispensation of justice. From the Senate, Mrs. Buhari heads to the House of Representatives. The First Lady is here. The Speaker of the House of Representatives notes the three provisions which will affect women directly, promising support, but insists that it will not be easy. Every man here is a he for she, but there's still a lot of work to be done yet. Um, we're still in the process, and there's still a lot of uh, a lobbying, a lot of lobbying to be done on both houses. As she leaves Parliament, Mrs. Buhari speaks on her mission to the National Assembly. We are here this afternoon to observe, to peacefully observe the, the proceedings on constitutional review about women and also to listen to the proceedings also concerning the 45, 35 affirmative action about women and special, seat, and special additional seats for women in the National Assembly. Female lawmakers stress the importance of passing constitution amendment bills for gender parity. We'll give it our best shot to make sure that women in Nigeria have a say because it starts from lawmaking. If we are making laws, okay, look at constitutional amendment. We are going to vote by simple majority. How many women are there? Federal lawmakers in the Senate and House of Representatives are expected to commence voting on the Constitution bills from March 1st, 2022. Thereafter, the bills eventually passed will be sent to the state houses of assembly also for voting. Linda Akibi, Channels Television News.